Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I present to you my bare face. <laughs> um, today's video is going to be something a little bit different. I'm doing a first impression on this foundation that I've been wanting to try for a really, really long time. It is expensive, like really, really expensive, especially for a foundation. It is the La Prairie um, Skin Caviar Foundation, or concealer and foundation. Yeah, Skin Caviar Concealer Foundation. Oh, and sunscreen, it has an SPF 15 in it. This was super expensive. Um, I have the receipt right here. I went to Nordstrom, and it was $225 for this foundation. It's supposed to be a concealer and a foundation in one, so I guess you're getting two products, but I have heard really good things about this foundation. The price of this product is like, like what the hell? <laughs> like who would honestly pay over $200 for a damn foundation? So I was just curious and I just really wanted to know if this product was worth it. I mean, how good can a foundation be, you know? So this is what the actual foundation looks like. It just says, let's see, skin caviar, concealer, foundation, sunscreen, SPF 15. It comes with a little foundation brush, which is nice. I do like that. I wish it was made of gold, but it's not. And then I guess you just put it in there. I like that, it's cute, I like that. So for the application, you're supposed to shake it well before applying, so let's shake it. With a spatula, remove a small amount of the foundation from the jar. Using fingertips, dot on forehead, nose, cheeks, and chin. Smooth and blend upward for maximum coverage, use fingertips. For lighter coverage, blend as directed with sponge. So this is the concealer part. And then when you like turn, twist the cap, oh, there's a little spatula in here. And then the product, if you guys can see that. I'm gonna be using my Real Techniques um, sponge. Mine is like beat up, I need a new one. But I always use this to apply foundation and I feel like that's the best way to apply so I'm not gonna use my fingertips. How it's over now. I didn't think you'd let me down Though you said you would Funny how you're leaving town Got my heart all broken, baby Then you said you bow Do you still like R&B? Do you still think about me? This seems very light coverage So I think what I'm gonna do is on the other side of my skin, I think I'm going to use my fingers and see if that makes a difference. I don't like to do this with my fingers, so I'm just going to use my beauty blender. Anytime I ever got to have you I guess I never I feel like this foundation is very comfortable. I mean, it just like glides right onto my skin and it feels, it just feels very comfortable. Um, but I look very, very dewy. So <laughs> if you're going for a matte look, this is not gonna work for you. If you guys can see my skin, Skin just looks very healthy. Hmm. I'm gonna try the concealer because I feel like foundation always your face always looks weird when you have foundation but no concealer on. So I'm gonna use a little brush and then I'm just gonna tap. Hmm. Looks like that. start to blend this in with my real technique sponge. Though you 
You said you would Funny how you leave in town The only thing is I just feel like I feel like I'm not really wearing anything so it doesn't feel heavy on your skin um, let me zoom this out a little bit I don't feel like it's heavy or anything I just don't like that I'm so dewy because again I'm I don't like dewy foundations but I think this just makes you look so healthy and just like naturally radiant I also don't like how I feel like really sticky right now I don't like that and I look really oily so I'm going to set my foundation okay so I feel so weird because I'm not used to just having my foundation done but my thoughts so far on this are that I have noticed that it hasn't clung to clung clinged clung to any of my dry patches like I said earlier my skin is really dry and I get a lot of dry patches so like right here sometimes especially like right over here I am so dry and honestly any foundation I've used clings to that even the L'Oreal infallible foundation that I love so much still clings just a little bit um, even the Kevin Aquan one, very, very, very little amount, but it still does kind of um, show that area a little bit. With this one, it's not doing that whatsoever. Like, my skin just looks very healthy and glowy and bright. Um, I don't have any, like, blemishes to cover, so I'm not sure if it would be good at covering, like, um, blemishes and redness and stuff but I do have acne scarring kind of all over my face and it doesn't do anything for that which I wouldn't expect it to because that's a skin texture thing it's not like you can cover holes in your skin holes I'm being dramatic but you know acne scarring I don't think any makeup can really cover that so I mean I wasn't expecting it to do that but Otherwise, I just, the only thing I don't like about it again is that I feel like way too dewy and just like, I just feel like I look kind of oily. So I'm going to set it with a powder. The lady also told me to set it with a powder, so I'm going to do that as well. And she actually did recommend that I apply it with a beauty sponge, like a beauty blender. She said that's the best way to do it. I don't know if it's like feels firming or what. My skin does feel really healthy though. It does feel like I'm wearing skincare products on my skin. It feels very hydrated and you know when you put on like a really nice face um, cream at night and go to bed like that's what it feels like it just feels like my skin feels very hydrated and like I have skincare on my face that's what it feels like um, as far as the scent goes I don't mind it it just smells like foundation it doesn't smell chemically chemically it doesn't smell like chemicals or anything it just feels like a little bit of a vanilla scent kind of that old lady scent but not like it's not super dramatic it's not bad I can definitely tolerate the scent so I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and then I will be right back all right guys so this is my full face done look at how intense this highlight is like and I it's crazy because I didn't like put more highlighter I didn't wet my brush or anything this just this foundation just makes you look super super luminous and yeah so I just put on the tiniest bit of highlighter and highlight is already on fleek. Um, it is pretty sheer I would say probably medium coverage I don't know I just feel like it's your skin but better it doesn't really feel like you're wearing a lot of makeup um, I like it but on days where I want to be like super glamorous and have like that perfect complexion where like you can't even see pores I don't know if I would reach for this foundation um, and I feel like it kind of accentuates my pores a little bit like around here I have pretty big pores and I feel like 
this foundation does not do a good job of hiding that. So it's about 351 as you can see. So I'm getting a late start to the day, but I did want to let you guys know I did set my foundation with my Laura Mercier powder, my translucent powder. And then I also did, I also sprayed my Urban Decay All Nighter makeup um, setting spray. <clears throat> hey guys, so it's about two hours later and I've been shopping, I've been out and about. The lighting is actually really good, like right here. So, sorry, I keep looking in the viewfinder because I'm like trying to see myself, but I mean, I don't feel oily, but I feel like this foundation is so dewy that it it's just not my thing. You know, if you like dewy foundation, so you'll probably like it, but I just feel like I need a powder my whole face again. I'll check back with you in a little bit again, okay? Hey guys, I'm back for my last check-in, and it's about 9.50 at night, and this situation is going on. Um, so I just feel like I'm super, super oily. I don't like feel super oily. My skin feels the same as it did. So like, I mean, I feel a little oily, maybe like around right here, but I don't feel that oily. Even though I look really oily like here, I don't feel that oily. Um, I just don't look cute anymore. <laughs> I just feel like it doesn't even look like my foundation is still there. I feel like it's just gone and like whatever skincare product is in there is what's on my face right now. That's what it feels like to me. So the verdict as far as this foundation goes is I don't think it's worth it. I thought it would do something magical to my skin and it really didn't to be honest. Um, it just really bugged me the whole day that I felt like I was like shiny and I don't like that look on me. So maybe if it had a matte finish, then, you know, we can talk. So if you guys know of any like super expensive, luxurious matte foundations, leave it in the comments down below so maybe I can at least try one of those. I might like it better. I mean, yeah, in general, I'm not a fan of dewy, dewy foundations, so I had a feeling that I wasn't gonna like this one. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna go and get ready for bed now because it's past 10, and um, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope it was helpful, and um, yeah, go ahead and check out some of my other videos. I will leave links down below, and um, thank you guys so much for watching again. I will see you guys in my next video. Give me comfort to my soul.